All right, so we are on question 55 from the first math practice test in your red book. So go ahead right now, get your red book out if you haven't already, and find question 55, hit pause, and then we'll come back together to explain this problem. All right, so you're at question number 55 on the first math practice test. Now this is the point in the test, if you haven't, you've already gotten there actually, and those last 10 questions, there's some intense stuff happening, okay? And sometimes the intense stuff isn't just like high level mathematics, it's that they're causing you to do a ton of different steps and iterations in a problem to finally get the answer. And this is one of those examples. So on the outset, nothing crazy here. We got rate, we got speed, we've got time, we've got distance, nothing that's crazy except there's a lot of conversion or converting between um, different uh, measurements that you've got to do on this type of problem. So as we're looking at this, we've got a word problem. So let's implement Torch Prep's word problem strategy. So first, we're, trying to, we're looking for what am I trying to find? And we read the problem once through and we're trying to find the average speed. But they give us units that matter here. And we need to pay attention to this, right? Feet per second. Now we can assume at this point in the test, if we're on question 55 and they have a simple question about average speed, there's probably going to be, as I mentioned, a lot of conversions happening. So we're just going to need to be aware of that. Let's mark that down. All right. Then we're trying to say, what do I know? Well, we know a couple things. So let's look at what we know. We know that he's riding a bicycle and the diameter of the wheels are 26 inches. Now already I'm beginning to see where they're going to get me on conversions. This needs to be in feet per second. They're giving me diameter in inches. So that's just something to keep in mind. So let's, what else do we know? We know that during one minute of riding, right, the bicycle wheels revolve or go around 200 times. So in one minute, there are 200 revolutions. Now again, minute instead of seconds. So we've got a double converting conversion thing happening here that's going to be a little hairy. So we need to pay attention to this and see where we're headed. Okay, so we've got step one and step two for our word problem strategy written down. But now comes the part where we actually have to start solving this. So we've got, we know that we have some distance, or sorry, some diameter for the wheel, and we have the amount of time it takes to go 200 revolutions. But we need to have a starting place on where to go to solve this. And so I want to remind you of a nice, simple equation you've all seen before. And this, since this says that rate, we're looking for a rate, that's, our, that's where we're headed. So rate equals distance over time in this situation. So we need to be able to find the distance, all right, and I'll, I'll make sure that we're not confusing this with diameter, the distance traveled holistically, the di distance traveled by this wheel, <laughs> right? And so to do that, they've given us the diameter. Well, if I know what a wheel is, if I actually want to think about this, <clears throat> if this is the starting place of the wheel, if I want to know how far has the wheel traveled before this gets back to its original spot, the answer to that is found by finding the distance around a circle which is called circumference, okay? So we're going to find the circumference of the circle. But then we have to take that circumference, because that's the circumference of one revolution. And then we're going to have to multiply that by 200 revolutions, because that's how far it actually went in that one minute. So let's actually unpack that and look at this. So, Distance is going to be circumference. Well, circumference is diameter times pi. You just got to know that formula, so memorize that. Circumference is diameter times pi. Diameter is uh, 26 inches, except remember, this is where this problem gets complicated. We need this in feet, right? We need this in feet. So I want to convert 26. So we got this whole problem happening, and simultaneously we're going to be con doing conversions. So I need 26 in terms of feet, 26 inches, all right? Well, 24 inches is two feet, and you got two inches left over, so that's 
two feet, right? And two out of 12, which is two and one sixth. This is going crazy here. And then I want to make this an improper fraction so I can actually work with it. Two times six is 12 plus one, 13 over six. So the circumference of the wheel with a diameter of 26 inches is actually 13 over six feet. And we multiply by pi to get the circumference. And then we're gonna take this, and by the way, you might wanna pause the video at this point and just chill for a second and see what I got happening. Let's see if you can follow this, okay? But then we're gonna take that and multiply it by the number of times that the wheel actually traveled around, which is 200, because that's gonna give us the total distance. Because remember, we're gonna take this distance and plug it into this equation to find the rate. All right, so 13 pi over 6 times 200, all right, that's going to be 2600 pi over 6. So we found the distance in feet, and that was the first step of being able to use this valuable equation to find the rate at the end of this whole problem. So. We're going to come back up here and, and check where we are in this problem. So we know we've got this equation, r equals d over t, which actually is r equals, we now have our d, we have our distance. It's 2600 over 6 times pi. That's our d. This whole thing needs to be divided by t time. Great. We'll get to how that's going to work in the calculator in a minute. Right now, we need to find t. So we come back over here, and we're using this information now to find, actually, more specifically, that information to find, right? We want, it's one minute, but we need it in seconds. How many seconds are in a minute? This is super, this is the simplest part of the whole problem, right? t actually equals 60 seconds. And now we get to, in the simplest way possible, take this, plug it in for t, all right? And I'm gonna come over here and rewrite this whole thing. So we actually have the rate is equal to 2600 over six pi divided by 60. So this whole thing divided by 60. Now, depending on your calculator abilities, some of you could probably just plug that in as is using parentheses and get the right answer. But notice the answer choices. Every answer choice on this problem keeps pi in it. Now that's a good thing. Some of you might be like, oh, I hate pi. It's a good thing because it allows the manipulation of these other numbers not to get involved with crazy decimals like pi, which is an irrational number. All right, so we look at this, okay? And if you're going to divide by 60, another way of looking at that is multiplying by 1 over 60. Just general multiplication division uh, rules there. So rate equals 2600 over 6 times 1 over 60 times pi. That's one way of looking at this. And so we simplify this further. R equals 2600 over 6 times 60 pi. And this is where the rubber meets the road. This is it. This is where your calculator is going to have to do you big. All right. So we got 2600 divided by 360. Ignore the pi still. It's waiting to the end. So 2600 over 360 comes out to be using your calculator, 65 over 9 pi. This is the rate in feet, 65 feet per second. That is your final answer for this problem.